Mike DeLeon accuses Adam Arallo of being disrespectful, pompous, narcissistic. It seems that the word war between Adam Arallo, 34, and Mike DeLeon, 71, is far from over. A few hours after Adam aired his side of this story, the veteran director was provoked to accuse the newbie actor of disrespecting his instruction during the filming of Citizen Jake. Citing a heated exchange between them, Derek Mike claimed that Adam had been an arrogant actor who completely ignored specific instructions on how to go about certain scenes. Derek Mike elaborated, many people were witness to this. The following day, I told you that never in my career as a director has any actor disrespected me as much as you did. I told you that if you wanted to direct yourself, then by all means do it. You can overact all you want. I will just shoot whatever you wish to do. Then you went into a meandering explanation without really saying anything, not even apologizing. Then I said, why are you so? Why are you so angry? Why do you think you're better than everyone else? As an actor, you're okay but you still have more rice. And you said, yes, I know that but no one has ever told me that before. So I concluded by saying, well, it's about time somebody did. This was in direct contrast to Adam's claim that he behaved professionally despite being the target of Derek Mike's unprovoked, irrational, almost random tantrums. Adam also said that the veteran director's harsh attitude made it harder for him to perform in his first foray into acting. Derek Mike pointed out, however, that Adam's dramatic portrayal in Citizen Jake has been strategically edited and enhanced for the actor to look good than he actually did. You know how your performance was enhanced and fixed in the editing. That I had to use two cameras all the time in anticipation of this. That's how the film was put together that made you look good. You will not want me to upload your most horribly acted scenes and the one that had my team rolling in laughter every time they saw it. I tried to keep that scene by modifying the editing flow but I was overruled by my team who told me in no uncertain terms that that scene had to go. While Derek Mike owned up to being a deeply troubled person, the acclaimed filmmaker called Adam a hypocrite for refusing to acknowledge his own faults. Derek Mike also said that he stands by his claim that Adam's a closet movie star, whose brand of journalism is all about personal gain. I also told you in one of my tirades that I find that you have no empathy, how can you be a journalist if you lack this basic ability to understand people's problems, not mine? Is not journalism about the story, not the journalist? But in your case, Nobody is more important to Adam Arallo than Adam Arallo. And you say you cringe at being called a celebrity, a star. How hypocritical. Do not bother to cringe anymore because you revel in it. Derek Mike went on to say how Adam supposedly used his work as a broadcast journalist for profit. You make commercials now and you exploited the Marawi backward by making that offensive commercial featuring yourself, monologuing like Citizen Jake, all under the sponsorship of Magdo. I have my demons to deal with but you have yours too, my pompous friend. So accept that you are a celebrity and do not use the noble profession of journalism to hide your inadequacies as a human being. Based on their respective statements earlier, the only thing that Derek Mike and Adam had agreed on was that never again would they work together, not ever.